Hey, it's the Cali Grio. It's noisy. I'm outside. The dogs are barking. I just wanted you to kick it if you feel like it, all right? Um, I'm working on a piece. Um, the lady wants purple. Okay, that was the biggest requirement was purple. So she picked her own beads. Sparkly, huh? Yeah. And then there's some uh, red seed beads. And uh, this is what you call gunmetal. Gunmetal color. And I've already arranged them. I've twisted my wire. I got it to size 7. When you put it on, you want to push it down and then take it off and flip it over so that everything is uh, done equally on both sides. And I'm working on a ring mandrel. And I'm problem solving right now because I do mine free flow. I'm free flowing this design. I basically set it up the way I wanted it. Now I have to put the main beads on. So I'm using the sticks, the ends. How many ends is up to you. I'm practicing working on one continuous piece of wire to make rings. So I'm doing that too. But this isn't one of them. I use uh, I use two pieces. Two pieces on this. Alright, okay. And don't forget, I use the needle nose round. Those are for twisting ends. I love this tool my friend gave me. She works with wire. And when you stretch wire and you keep stretching, boy, it hurts your hands. So this is plastic. So it doesn't nick the, uh, the wire. You just squeeze or, or pull, you know, bend a little bit, you know, so that you're not getting your fingers in it. And like I said, again, you push gently. Whoa, didn't push so gently, did I? <laughs> yeah, until you get to the number required. And then flip it again. Um, the more you work with the wire, the harder it becomes. That's what you kind of want to You want it to be nice and firm. Okay, now I have it here. So then I want to start to work on centering it or maybe I make it off center. And I want to add one more stone, possibly. So with, with wire, you, it's very malleable. You can just push and pull it. Like if you think it's, you got it too tight, you think you have your piece too tight, you can pull on it, and, but just do it evenly. Whatever you do on one side, do it on the other side. If you pull it this way, turn it and do it again on the other side. Oops. That way you keep it nice and even. See? This has more than one uh, pair of lenses in it. It has Velcro. Don't make it too tight, you'll get a headache. This magnifies it.
I'm looking for this little wire right there. And I'm pulling it. You can stretch it. You can stretch it. But you don't want to chew it up. Whoops. But you don't want to chew it up. because I'm in a magnifier. <laughs> okay, so the next place I will do a bead is going to be right here on this wire. That'll be the next place I add one if I decide to add it. And I have this uh, wire here. It's kind of thick, uh, a smaller First gauge. One. So with a smaller gauge, uh, it's probably maybe a 18 gauge. You need a pretty big hole. I may put a bead on here and I may leave it just metal. I haven't decided that either yet. And sometimes I like to leave it fidget, fidget beads. So you can fidget. I might tighten this. I might leave it as a fidget. I'm not sure yet. Can you even see it? <laughs> there, yeah, you can. Huh? Okay, good. So there's the purple. And I think I'm going to put a nice center stone right in here. I'm going to probably pull this wire over to the center. But first I'm going to line up the hearts. It would be better if I had some masking tape around my needle nose. That way it prevents it also from uh, from uh, scratching. Okay, see so I'm lining that up. You can just use your hands to press and pull. You can feel it. That's what you want to do. You want to feel things. I've stacked it. I made it like a two-story spiral going around. That's my dog chasing his bottle. He'd rather play with a water bottle than a toy. He has toys. Oh yeah, there you can see. So you have to make a commitment. I'm gonna make a commitment. Now you can you turn you turn your tool because you take it out and put it back in the hole and turn it again. You start on the back side, bending, and inch your way up to make it smaller. That way you have a round circle. These are cheap, and they're bending. That's uh, the metal they're made with. Let's 
pretty cool. happy with these pliers. You know, I'm going to get another pair because if I don't, I'm going to nick that wire. I don't want to do that. I'll be back sometime with another stone for the center tape on my um, needle notes. It's the Cali Grio. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about beading and wire work or what you call fabrication. Fabrication is making something basically from a piece of metal, um, wire or flat, copper, uh, any gauge you choose, okay? And I'll teach you more about gauges. We talked about it before. So I'm gonna tell you again, that's how you learn. The higher the number, the skinnier the wire. So if I say I want a 22, that's a skinny wire. If I say I need a 12 gauge, that's a fat, like a nice fat piece. Like a 20, 22 gauge would be the tip of this. And a 12 gauge would be the center down here. But there is a tool that you can measure with, and I'll show you how to do that too. All right? It's a Cali Grio. And come back again. I'll be here. First try.